a man-child who was to rule all nations with a rod of iron. Iron. Iron in the Bible. Strong. A strong nation. Okay. A rod of iron. Oh, there's rod, rods of iron, is it? Yeah, it, it's Christ. Yeah? The child is a reference to Christians who, who are strong, yeah? And they are to rule all nations. But these guys don't like that. Don't like it. And that's why they are ready to devour the child of the woman here as, as it was born. As soon as it was born. And what does the dragon do to this woman? Uh, yep. Yeah. Yeah, man child to rule all nations with a rod of iron. Yeah, Christ. Uh, and her child was caught up unto God and to his throne. Oh, this is great. You read the next verse. So what can I do with this one? Uh, her child was caught up unto God and to his throne. Ah! <laughs> of course! Of course, the Christians being raptured. Her child was caught up unto God and to his throne. It's a reference to the rapture. <laughs> oh yeah, I love this one. Right, let's carry on. War in heaven. Michael and his angels fought against the dragon. And the dragon fought and his angels. We're looking at nuclear war between Europe and the dragon, um, you know, Russia and China. Uh, this is what the war in heaven with the angels and Satan. Yeah, there's <laughs> Christians being the angels. Uh, communist and Chinese, Chinese and Russians being uh, Satan. And, you know, uh, devil which deceiveth the whole world. The devil is come down unto you after this happens, having great wrath, because he knoweth that he had that he hath but a short time. So all of this goes on and then the dragon is Knowing he's not got much time, we're looking at why? Because we're about to be victorious. Perhaps the dragon. I mean, we're already fighting the angels and Satan and his angels. Uh, okay, but then the dragon knows he's got a short amount of time. Um, so, what this sounds like to me is we're going to be winning, and now the dragon understands that, and yeah, he's, he's going to uh, inflict as much pain as possible because he knows he's going to lose, knowing that he has but a short time. <clears throat> So they'll know they're losing, which is why they will persecute the woman which brought forth the man-child. They'll persecute all Christians. Um, yeah, in their own country and you know, over here, if they manage to uh, capture some of these regions, could be looking at the U.S. Yeah, the eagle of the U.S. Giving the EU wings. Uh, yeah. Maybe some kind of space program uh, given to the EU from the US, perhaps. Uh, well, we do have the ESA, the European Space Agency. 
Uh, but I mean, it's nowhere near as uh, as big as NASA or anything. Eagle giving the woman two wings so that she can fly to find refuge, basically. Um, let's carry on, let's move on. The serpent cast out of his mouth water as a flood after the woman, that he might cause her to be carried away of the flood. Again, I mentioned biggest floods ever, always Yellow River in China. Cast out of his mouth after the woman water like a river, that he might carry her away. And the earth helped the woman, and the earth opened her mouth and swallowed up the river which the dragon cast out of his mouth. The earth helped the woman. And it might mean all other countries help the woman. Uh, yeah. The earth helped the woman swallow up the river cast out of the mouth of a dragon Right. I can't say specifically, but I think this means other countries will help Europe deal with this threat. I can't say what what the the river coming out of the mouth of a dragon is. Um, but I can say that much, other countries will help Europe with what's, what these guys uh, are doing to them. Yeah. Flood from the mouth. Now there are frogs coming out of mouths later on in Revelation and I thought that was a reference to the plagues of Egypt. A plague coming out of someone's mouth. Uh, yeah, out of the mouth. Uh, a flood coming out of the mouth, it's another plague. Oh yeah. No, wait a minute. No, no, it, it wasn't one of the plagues, was it? A flood. Mm. It could be a reference to it, eh? Like the frogs coming out of the mouth of a plague. The flood. Floods coming out of the mouth. Uh, Okay, slightly different terminology, but um, yeah, could just simply be a reference to a, a plague coming out of the mouth, as as with the frogs coming out of the mouth later on, uh, and the whole world will help the woman with this. Plague coming out of the mouth of the dragon. Um, the propaganda. Let's read a bit more. What does the dragon do with this river? coming out of its mouth, what is the intention? To carry her away. Carry her... Ah, yeah. Deceive. Deceive. Carry her away. What does Satan do? Deceive. Yeah, it's coming out of the mouth of a serpent. I think it's a reference to deceit. Yeah. Floods coming out of the mouth of a red dragon. Um, red dragon, you know, reference to Satan. Um, this plague coming out of his mouth being uh, deceit, communism.
are why we're look what they've done in the past. Communist Russia propaganda towers. As I said earlier, when I went to Czech Republic, um, they had these these loud speakers all on the streets everywhere. Now this is a plague. I, yeah, I love that. Look. That's a good one putting that up. This is a plague spewing out of the mouth of a red dragon. And what has it done? It's come over to here, affecting the woman. Yeah, but what does the woman do? The earth helps the woman deal with this threat, this communism coming out of the mouth here. Yeah. Swallow up the river which the dragon cast out of his mouth. Defeat communism. Defeat communism. We're already becoming a secular society once we abandon the faith completely and take a taste of what the communist serpent has to offer. Then comes the enslavement of Revelation 13. This will be our punishment from God for eating of the forbidden fruit, for being deceived by Satan the serpent, just as it was in the beginning, so it shall be in the end. As I said before with my Exodus parallel uh, with Revelation 9 um, and 10, uh, that parallel there with the volcano in Exodus and also in Revelation, well, it also parallels with Genesis. In Revelation 12 and 13, the communist serpent will deceive in the end, and the Christians, they will be deceived by the, this communist propaganda. We will eat of the forbidden fruit, and we will enslave ourselves. We will take a taste of what the communists have to offer and that will be it. Now there may very well be a third world war which culminates in the Middle East, the four angels that are set loose uh, in the great river Euphrates. These uh, four countries, Iran, Iraq, Syria and Turkey, all bound by the river Euphrates. Okay, so there'll be a war in the Middle East and this is going to be a very big war, it will wipe out one third of mankind. Uh, so we're looking at World War Three there. Uh, but in the end times we're talking about a communist takeover in Revelation 12 and 13. This is following that third world war. Um, it, it's communist, okay. Uh, it's nothing to do with Islam, alright. I mean a, a worship of a man and an image, okay. Uh, th this is communism 101, all right? The Muslims worship Allah. It's got nothing to do with them, all right? This, this is after that. This is after that war. The communist takeover. And because one third of mankind would have been exterminated during the religious war, okay, the Muslims, um, it will embrace the New World Order government, a secular one world government, yeah, we're already going down that route, um, as, as a solution to world war. Uh, I, this just, it's just, just like the movie Equilibrium. Is it Equilibrium? And 1984, thought crimes, thought crimes, yeah? What's the excuse? Oh, it, it's the reason for all of the wars and the hatred and the fighting, yeah? Thought crimes, religion. Is it? Yeah. Just like the movies, just like the movies. And it'll be suggested as a solution, 
okay, this communism, uh, like, like what we have in China and North Korea, and those poor people in North Korea who are already living like this, okay, um, no freedom whatsoever, no freedom of thoughts, it, thought crimes. Yeah. In Revelation 13. And because of what happened in the Third World War, mankind will embrace this. Okay? When it's suggested, the New World Order, government, we will be in favour of it. And it will all be due to those religious fanatics who have used their religion to justify murder and the most heinous crimes imaginable. They will be the reason for this. They will be the reason God enslaves mankind uh, via a communist takeover. There won't be a religion at all.